Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again everyone. Today we will now we will be discussing about theorem number 4 being central angle is twice the inscribed angle subtended by the same part. Okay, again, central angle is twice the inscribed angle subtended subtended by the same part. So first let's tackle it like this. Let's review central angles. Okay? If this is 60 degrees, then this is also 60 degrees. These are the properties of central angles. Okay? Very basic. Next, we have inscribed angle. Oh, sorry, it's an oblong. Sen uh, inscribed angle. Inscribed angles are angles in the circumference. Okay? So, we have this. Next, if this is, say, 30 degrees, then this is 60 degrees. Okay? Meaning... In central angles, they are always equal. But in inscribed angles, and inscribed angles, it's always half the arc. Okay, so this is inscribed angles. It's always half the arc. Again, it's always half the arc. Kuha? So, yeah. So, knowing these things, knowing these things, then we can now go to our theorem number four, that if and only if, okay? If and only if. The central angle and the inscribed arc subtends the same. Uh, I mean, the central angle and the inscribed angle subtends the same arc. Then that simply means that this central angle, this central angle is twice the given inscribed angle. Again, it's very simple. If you would see a figure like this, yeah, like this, you would see a figure like that that you will see that this inscribed angle is having the same intercepted arc, okay, then we can assume that this, this um, inscribed angle, okay, is twice, I mean, yeah, it's twice. It's twice the, the central angle. So, meaning to get the central angle, you, I mean half, I mean half pala, half the central angle. So, meaning to get the central angle, you need to multiply the inscribed angle by 2. Take note, by 2. So, your figure would most likely look like this. Circle, central angle. We can have this. Yan. A figure like this. Still the same. Inscribed angle, central angle, same arc. Same arc. Okay? Or we could have it the other way around. Or in, other, in another way. Say we have this circle. We have this central angle. We have this we have this arc here. I am in angle here at the bottom. It's okay. This is the inscribed angle. This is the central angle. Then again, they would have the same intercepted arc. If the intercepted arc are the same, then we can have this concept of having half C's. In half C's natin dito, what do I mean by that? Is If this is say, um, let's use a yellow marker. If this is say 60 degrees, um, if this is 60 degrees, yan, then definitely this one is half. This is 30 degrees. Okay? Half C's. Kalahati lang. Remember that the inscribed angle is always smaller. Inscribed angle is always less than the central angle. Lagi siyang mas maliit. Angles. It's always smaller than, than the central angle. And the concept of being it being smaller is always by half C's. Half C's. Medyo informal, ah, pero half C's. Or just simply, divide by by 2. Yun lang. Divide by 2 always. Okay? You always divide by 2 if you have your central and inscribed angle. Or, it could be the other way around. Twice naman. Okay? What do I mean by that? If I have this circle, and I have this central angle, and I have this inscribed angle here. Wait, let me make my central angle smaller. Yeah. Inscribed angle here. Yan. Yeah. Um. <laughs> ah, say this is 18 degrees. Okay, 18 degrees. So, what do you think is the measure of our uh, central angle? So, definitely, the, if the inscribed angle is smaller than the central angle, then we can say that it is twice the inscribed angle. So, 18 times 2 would be, of course, um, 18 times 2, wait lang ah. It's equals to 36 degrees. 
Okay? So that would be the angle. Okay? So I hope that you got our um, discussion for this theorem number 4. It's quite easy and also quite short. It would just simply talk about uh, um, halfsies and twices. Alahate, divide by 2 or times 2. And just simply remember that our inscribed angle is always less than the central angle. So if you would have any other question, you can of course review the video. Theorems will be posted on a separate file. So thank you everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.